Hello, welcome to the Mark Janot Show, the cybersecurity show. In this video, I'm gonna show you the proper method to debloat your Windows 11 or Windows 10 machines. Follow these steps precisely. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. But before we get into those steps, let's talk about can debloating Windows 11 or your 10 device affect its security features? So debloating Windows 11 can potentially affect its security features if not done carefully. So you're going to want to consider these key points. Number one, removing built-in security apps, un uninstalling Windows Defender or other Microsoft security tools can leave your system more vulnerable if not replaced with alternative protection. Number two, disabling telemetry. While this improves privacy, it may prevent Microsoft from detecting and addressing security threats quickly. Number three, breaking Windows Update. Some aggressive debloating methods can interfere with Windows Update, which is crucial for receiving security patches. Number four, removing core components. Deleting certain system files or components could compromise the overall integrity and security of the operating system. Number five, third party tools using unofficial debloating scripts or tools carries risks as they may remove essential security features unknowingly number six custom windows distributions pre debloated versions of windows from unofficial sources may lack important security features or contain malware to minimize security risk while debloating use reputable tools like bloat nosy ai or win 11 debloat that are less likely to break core system functionality also you're gonna want to be selective about what you remove focusing on unnecessary apps rather than system components you're gonna also want to maintain Windows update functionality to ensure you receive security patches and you're gonna want to consider using Windows built-in security features instead of completely removing them oh here's another thing create a system restore point before making changes so you can revert if needed Remember this, while debloating can improve performance, it's crucial to balance this within, uh, you know, maintaining adequate security measures for your system. So here are the steps to do to debloat your Windows 11 or 10 machine. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button and the like button right now. Hit that subscribe button and the like button right now. You watch it, hit that subscribe button right now. So to debloat Windows 11 and improve its performance, follow these steps. Number one, use bloat nosy AI. Download bloat nosy AI from GitHub and run the executable. Use the remove crapware in bloatware uh, select additional apps you want to remove from the list and click remove selected use the search bar to find and remove specific features like copilot or onedrive number two use win 11 d bloat powershell script you can download the win 11 d bloat from github run the run.bat file to launch the powershell script choose between default mode right that that's the option one or custom settings option two wait for the process to finish which will remove bloatware and disable invasive features number three use windows 10 d bloater script open powershell as administrator run the command iwr uh, and then you have the usb peter you can put that on the screen and then you can uh, hit, put also that link so they know which link to go to as well peter in the open interface disable cortana and onedrive if you don't use them click on disable telemetry slash tasks to stop background tracking services use customized block list to select specific apps and packages for removal uh, click remove bloatware with custom block list to complete the process consider using other tools like uh, you have the this is win 11 from github is recommended as an easy to use tool uh, there is a YouTuber, Chris Titus Text. Windows Utility offers additional deep loading options. For a clean start, some users recommend using custom Windows distributions like Go Spectre, uh, Windows 11, which comes pre deep -bloated. Now, remember to create a system or restore point before making significant changes to your system. Always be cautious when removing apps or changing system settings as it may affect your Windows experience or functionality. Now, we got that out of the way, right? That's the nuggets for you. Now, how can you, 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 how can you ensure your system remains secure after debloating Windows 11? So, while debloating Windows 11, 
uh, can improve performance and privacy, it's crucial to maintain security. Here are some key steps to ensure your system remains secure after debloating, right? Number one, be selective in what you remove. Don't remove core security components like Windows Defender or Windows Update. Number two, keep Windows Update enabled and functioning. This is essential for receiving critical security patches and updates. Number three, maintain antivirus protection. If you remove Windows Defender, ensure you install a reputable third-party antivirus solution. Number four, use reputable debloating tools. Stick to well-known tools like Bloat Nosy AI or Win, you know, the Win 11 debloat that are less likely to compromise system integrity. Uh, then you can, you know, again, I'm gonna keep saying this, create a system restore point before making changes. This allows you to revert if anything goes wrong. Now, be cautious with privacy settings. While reducing telemetry can improve privacy, some telemetry helps Microsoft detect and address security threats quickly. Do not, do not disable core Windows security features like memory integrity, Windows Defender Application Guard, or Windows Defender Credential Guard. If you if you know you've removed built-in apps, reinstall essential ones from the Microsoft Store. Some system components may rely on these apps. Now, after, right? After after debloating, run a full system scan with your antivirus to ensure no malware has inadvertently introduced, uh, you know, was inadvertently introduced during the process. Regularly check for and install Windows updates manually if you've modified the update process. Now, consider using additional security tools like firewalls and malware scanners to, you know, to complement your system's defenses. Now, remember. The goal is to find a balance between performance optimization and maintaining robust security. If you're unsure about, you know, about a particular change, it's better to err on the side of caution and leave security related components intact. Uh, so let's talk about if there are specific firewall settings that uh, you know, you should adjust after deep loading the Windows 11. Now, after deep loading Windows 11, it's important to ensure your firewall settings are properly configured to maintain system integrity. So here are some firewall settings you need to check and adjust. Number one, verify Windows firewall is enabled. Open Windows security, go to firewall and network protection. Ensure that domain network, private network, and public network are all turned on. Number two, check firewall profiles. In Windows security, click on advanced settings under firewall and network protection. Review the rules for the domain, private, and public profiles to ensure they're appropriate for your specific needs. Then you're gonna wanna review and enable important built-in rules, right? In advanced settings, check both inbound and outbound rules. Ensure critical Windows services like core networking and Windows Update are allowed. That's what I have for you today. Please take a moment to hit that subscribe button right now and that like button. Hit that subscribe button and that like button right now. I appreciate your viewership. Stay safe and see you in the next video.